Hi, I'm Dick Termas, and we're, today we're going to add cubes to cubes and see if we can figure out how to draw that. Uh, cubes, you know, can settle on uh, to another cube on the top or the front. It can go on to the different sides, on to the bottom. Uh, we put together a really neat video that shows this. Take a look at it. So one of the very important parts of drawing is to learn how to add cubes to cubes. If you can add cubes to cubes, you can draw a whole bunch of things that typically couldn't be drawn. You still have to think about your three sets of parallel lines when you add a cube up on top. It actually runs exactly parallel to the lower cube. And you can see the numbers uh, 333, 222, and 111 continue to repeat into that upper structure. When I first put a smaller cube on the side of a cube, I usually sketch right where it's going to attach to that surface and then come off of that and then later come back and erase. Keeping track that there's still only those three sets of parallel lines that you have to think about. And you can use a grid with this, or you can just keep track that the lines are running parallel to the first cube you drew. And the same sets of parallel lines, number ones, number twos, number threes. This is a fun one where you learn to stack cubes onto cubes, almost like a stairway to start with. But then pretty soon they loop across and come back over the top of you. And you just have to look at your cubes and continue to think about your three sets of parallel lines. Every time you draw a cube, attach it to the first one, but then continue with your three sets of parallel lines as you come all the way around and underneath. And then once again, come back and do your erasing and clean it up. Here are a few places you can see cubes added together in the real world. It's not always so obvious. Here we have two cubes. Notice the multiple cubes here. I hope you enjoyed the videos uh, and uh, the videos and the photographs because they really do tie together nicely. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more uh, substance to that, a little, uh, one more thing to think about. And uh, I want you to make sure you draw along with me. Get your paper out, your pencils, erasers. Erasers are good. You've got the, the especially the approach I do, you've got to erase once in a while. So we're going to try a stairway. Now, a lot of times we want to draw a stairway. So let me just start with a, a real basic stairway. If you start with the front of one of the panels and then come down and make another step that's exactly the same width, and you just kind of guess at it. I see mine's a little bit shorter, but that's okay. And then I'm going to just have one more here like this. This lines up on the bottom straight across, and you can see this makes for a nice stairway. So we have the front of the cube. Now we're going to get the three dimension. We're going to go back in space like this. If you go back the same amount of, uh, of uh, how, how far you go back, keep it the same and make all of these the inner parts and the outer parts. And remember, these are like individual cubes. We're adding cubes together here. And one more down here. And then cut them off with the back line. This is copying this line, right? This is number two down here. There's still the number two, two, another two back. Well, first we've got a given corner, so we want to come off the given corner and where this runs into it. These are number one lines. Then that's where the number two takes off from this corner. And it actually makes another number two, another given corner, come down, straight down. That's the number one line, one line, one line, one line. All right, and then you've got another given corner here. Cut across. I'm going to erase a little bit because I don't want it to get confusing. All right, that's nice way. Just a really good way to build a to build a um, um, 
a stairway. So you're dum blump blump and you're up on the top and who knows where you're going up here. Okay, so you can see these lines are running all the way through so it's like given put together. If you were actually doing it, you could in the end you'd have to erase these lines in order to make it be a solid shape. Um, or, as you can see, let me just switch colors here, you could just start with that. Once you figure this out a little bit, you might just draw this structure right here to start with, right there, and then come, then come back in space and draw you know, the rest of what you see. Okay, that's a nice simple way to uh, do the same thing. So you can do that in all kinds of ways. You could have the front of buildings be that kind of structure and, uh, or, or whatever uh, you're building in your drawings. I almost think of drawing as building. I, I have a feeling that I'm building that object. I actually feel like I could walk up that. So, I mean, you have to kind of get where you really get involved with what you're drawing. Um, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to also draw something, this was out of my head, okay, and then I'm going to try something that's, that's more realistic, like this cooler right here. Ha it just happens to be sitting right here, I wonder how that happened. So anyway, you, you would look at this cooler, and you can see there's a little cube stuck on the side of a cube. This cube has rounded off corners. But I'm still going to start with it, drawing it the same way that I uh, do anything. I always start with the basic cubeness of it and the artistic angle. So I, I think that's probably the angle right there that I would do. I want to see the top. I want to see this side coming out and this side. So there's three different sides showing. So let me see how I do that. First start with the basic big cube. All right. And I'm going to start with this side, right here, and draw that first. Okay, that's about the, it's a little tall. I'm going to cut the top off. I'm going to make it be about that high. All right, that's a better proportion. And then this side goes back in space, because I want this to sit right out here. So I'm going to do number three lines back here. Make sure it goes back about how you think you see it. Same way here. Number three lines. Three-dimensional space lines. All right, cut it off. Number two is back here, parallel to the front. And number one lines here, coming off that given corner. Erase this guy here. And you have a number one, 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 two, two, two. Uh, and then, now we're going to add this little cube onto this. And we want to look at it a little bit. It looks like it's actually inside this slightly. So I'm going to, access, I'm going to put it in about that far and project these lines are parallel to number two. There's a number two. This is a number uh, two back here too. And then come straight down with this. Across, this is the number two. I'm going to erase that line and have it extend down like so. All right, and get rid of that line. Now we've got a little, oop, we've got, got to get this out here. And it's got to connect with that. Well, let's get rid of this here and that little corner there. All right, so we got kind of the basic structure of this. And now I'm going to just play a little bit with the corners because they should be rounded off slightly. So I'm going to round this off, just a little bit of a curve here. I'm going to make this curve there, this and curve here, this and curve here. And you notice as soon as it makes a curve there, this line is actually going to disappear. And this is going to be slightly curved over here too. Okay, so now we have just this rounding off corner. These, and I'm adding a kind of a contour surface line. Later, there's one of the lessons where we really talk about these, the, to get these contour surface lines. So that'll, be, that'll come up in the future here. All right, so we got that rounded off, and this one kind of rounds off actually too. And this line would disappear here. And just kind of round that off a little bit. 
Okay, so so far we have we have sort of the basis of it. Color-wise, there's a little square up in here that is round too. So we'll just round it as we put it in there, like so. That's this little hole here. So if we colored it in, of course, that'd be red, and this would be black, and a little white line in between. And then the, the handles here, the, the little strap is attached. It actually goes all the way down the bottom here, too. I'm going to just put a little strap in here. It runs up like this to this little, uh, let's say, oh, it's way up here, higher. It's got to come up here, and then it, it hangs on to a little clip right in here, straps to that, and then it comes out of that clip from there. And I'm gonna just have it run around the corner here, like that, and it attaches to the other side. A um, Little bit of writing going on here, I won't overly write that stuff, but it has to fit with the shape that it's on. Ooh, I have my name written on this. I'll do that part. There's the thermos there. And we have, oh, zippers. There's a zipper here that runs around right here. And this zipper actually has little lines like that that run parallel to number one lines. It's a little zipper line running around here, runs all the way up around to that side. You could put the little clip I'll get it over here to the side, a little clip, a zipper clip there. Uh, and there's one that runs around this front of this, and it stops about there. So it's got to go from here, up and around, and these go back in space like this. And you, can, you can just study it a little bit and see which lines of the cube the zippers are, are following. And in this case, it's going this way. This one's going this way. So there's a the little zipper and, and a little bit of erasing here. So it looks, uh, and this, of course, I'd clean this a, a lot up it went, if I were doing it for real, real, you know. Um, so uh, th th that's the, this is looking at an object and drawing it. And the other was the stairway was just making it up out of your head. And I think both ways are, are very interesting ways to learn how to draw. So I hope you enjoyed this and, and uh, look at the, the future uh, pieces that we're doing. Thanks. Stop in next time to learn how to subtract from cubes.